Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this enchanted mossy house. This lush build has such a whimsical vibe, meaning it would be the perfect way to add a touch of magic to your world. Plus, with three floors to decorate, it would also make a stunning survival base. I'll be showing you step by step how to create this build, and if you would like to access a world download or schematic for this or any of my other builds, check out the link to Patreon in the description below. The materials you'll need for this build are on your screen now. If you're having trouble getting any of these supplies, leave a comment and I'd be happy to offer some substitutions. Here is the outline for today's build. You can see that we've basically got a circle here with an interior diameter of 13 blocks. And there's a gap there at the front for the door. We've then got marked in some locations for our pillars and you can put in an outline like this one to help you build. We're going to begin our build by creating the base walls for this first layer. I've got some moss blocks here and we're going to go all the way around our circle's outline. So for a circle we need it to be even so we're following a repeating pattern with 5 blocks along the flatter sides followed by 2 and then 1 and then we're going in reverse so 2 and then back to 5. And let's repeat this all the way around this circle. We do need to leave the center of one of our five wide sides free so that way we have our doorway. And in fact, I'm gonna grab a temporary block. I've got lime wool, but you could use anything. Dirt would even work here. And I'm just gonna mark that in so I don't accidentally build in its place. I'm also going to mark in some windows next before we add on the next layers of our walls. So on the five wide sides in the center, we have a three high window. So let's add those first. Then on these kind of curved sections on the corners, I'm going to find the center, which is this one wide block. And then on either side of that, I'm going to add a three high window. So we should have windows going all the way around the circle and we're ready to start adding in the walls. For that we'll be using a mixture of calcite, white concrete powder and white wool and mixing these up to create a texturized look. So there's two ways you can go about this. You can add in the texture as you go, just like this. Let's see, I might add a wool here. Let's add a calcite down here and a wool in this gap and texturize as you're building up the height of the walls and we want to be building these up four high and they'll end up sitting one block above the window so that's there or you can do what I prefer to do in creative and that's to fill in all of the walls with one color like this and then go in and add in the texture afterwards now of course this is a little bit trickier in survival where you're working with limited supplies so it's just about finding a build system that works for you so I'm going to go ahead and continue filling in all of these walls, taking a step back every now and then to check I like the distribution, and don't be afraid to go in and change things to get the look that you're after. The amount of each supply you end up using depends on the look you like, as well as how many of each supply you have. And to achieve a really random texture, you want to make sure you don't have sections mirrored, so you want each section to be unique. Let's see, I think we need some more concrete powder coming in here, we'll add a wool down here, and some concrete powder on this side to balance it out. I think that's good, we'll add another wool up here going to continue adding this in and we'll be back for the next step.
So all of my walls are in now, so we can move on to the next step, and that's adding in glass. So on these corner windows, we're going to be using white stained glass blocks, and I'll just go ahead and replace all of these. Then on the flat sides, we're going to be using white stained glass panes. That just adds a little bit more depth. Now where you have a concrete powder above one of your windows, you might have to grab that material, add in your window, and place it back in. Or if you're in creative, you can be super speedy and replace it from below. Once we've got these in, we're going to be working on some pillars. So let's add the rest of the glass. Just a couple windows left. And it's on to pillar time. I'm going to leave that door gap there and we'll come back to that later. So on these two pairs of pillars where they're on the flat five wide walls, we're going to start by building up six high. One, two, three, four, five, six. With our quartz pillar like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Then we're going to grab some temporary blocks and place them up so we can add in an extra block coming to the side. And we'll top it off with one more on top. Now I can remove those temporary blocks and we'll be left with something that looks like this. Then on these corner ones, we're going to build all the way up to that eight high height just like this. So let's add in the rest of these pillars. We've got all of our base pillars in now, so we're going to add an extra layer on top of these walls. I've got some of these verdant frog lights, that's the green kind, and I'm going to add one layer of these. I want to make sure they're all facing the same direction, so that's upright like this. There we go. Next I'll add a layer of moss on top of all of those blocks. And these are going to peek through some of the details we'll be adding in the arches between these pillars. There we are. Back over to the pillars, I'm going to grab some more of the quartz pillar blocks and on these horizontal facing pillars, we're going to have one more block coming out like this. Then on the corner pillars at the same height, so that is on the seventh block up, one block below the top, we'll add two pillars coming out to either direction. So here's how it should look. Now let's add in some of these archways. So I've got some chisel quartz blocks here and we're going to be placing this on the center block of each of the three wide spaces. So on the diagonal, I'll count one, two, three. So this is my center. Again, one, two, three, center. And this should be above the window. Then to either side of that, I'm going to add in a smooth quartz slab on the top block, just like this. So you can see on the corner ones, I'm placing it right up against the moss there. Next, we're going to take some smooth quartz stairs and I'm going to add one on either side to create a little archway and then we'll take some regular quartz slabs so they look different to the smooth quartz ones. They have a sort of border and with these regular quartz slabs, we're going to add another archway underneath like this. So this will be on the block below the stairs. This will be on the lower level of the block level with the stairs and then below again. And we're going to repeat this same pattern on all of these panels, including the diagonal ones. So it'll just look a little bit different. Like that. Let's go ahead and add in this detail. The reason we're using a mixture of both smooth and regular quartz slabs is it adds a little bit more visual interest, texture and dimension to the build and it is the small details that really make a build feel special. Back 
back to working on the pillars now that all of these archways are completed, I'm going to be adding a verdant frog light to the front of each of the pillars on the five wide sections, so not these corner ones. Then on the corner ones, I'm going to be adding in two moss blocks. Next, what we need to do is dig below each of the blocks we've just added in and you'll need to jump down into the hole to add in a lever which will flick. That way, when we add on some trapdoors, they flip up like this. So on the moss, we're going to add two on the two outside edges like this. I'll then fill in the hole and add in a diorite wall in the center. So let's do this to all of the corner ones. And last one and then we'll work on the other ones. There we are. Now for all of the ones where we have our frog like, we're going to go underneath again with a lever, which I'll flip on. And then I'm going to place iron trapdoors on all the visible sides. So each one is going to get three like this. And don't forget to add back in your dirt or grass. With those all in place, we can continue our decorations. So I'm going to take some quartz stairs and we're going to add one on top of all of these blocks, making sure that they're facing back towards the pillars. Then using some more of these quartz stairs, and remember those are the kind that have the border, not like the smooth ones we used at the top, we're going to add in two stairs curving outwards like this. And on the corners we'll do this on both sides that face out. I'm then going to take some diorite walls and we'll be placing these in the gap between. So if I take a step back, here's how our build is looking. It's already starting to look fantastic. Next, I'm going to add in our doorway decoration. So I'm going to place a diorite wall on either side of the door. Then I'll add in two end rods. And if you don't have end rods yet in game, you could replace these with chains. Next, I'm going to place a temporary block above the door. So that way I can add some quartz stairs going off to either side. One there and one there. I can remove that now and replace it with a quartz slab. And we should have a lovely little archway like this. I'm going to break these temporary blocks for the door and I'm going to be using a birch door placed from the inside so it sits flush and opens outwards. And here's how our simple decoration should look. Next I'm going to take some smooth quartz slabs and we're going to be placing these all the way around the border in front of the moss blocks. I'm just adding in my last few slabs. And now we're going to take some smooth quartz stairs and I'm going to add them on top of each of these pillars. Next, I'm going to grab some diorite slabs and these are going to go in between the stairs on the flat faces. Then on each of these corners, we're going to follow along the shape created by this quartz outline. So we'll have two here and then one here, two here, 
one here, just like this. Let's add all of these in. We're really making good progress with the build now and we're preparing to add in the next level of the house. And we've got everything in and here's how it should look from above. Next, I'm going to take some chisel quartz blocks and we'll add one on top of each pillar. And we're moving on to creating a railing for the balcony that we'll be creating in just a second. So I've got some iron trapdoors. I'm going to start by placing these level with these pillars just on the flat faces. Then I'm going to be placing in some temporary blocks to help me place in the uh, trapdoors that are going on the corners. So you can see I'm just placing them on top of these corner blocks. That way I can take the trapdoors and we're going to be placing them creating a railing like this. They should sit above the quartz blocks below. almost all the way around and I can remove all the temporary blocks now. I'm going to take some stone buttons next and I'll place these in the center of each of these pillars. And then we're going to add some more detail to this a balcony edge. So we've got a diorite wall on top of each of the chisel blocks. As well in the center of each of the trapdoor sections. Next I've got some end rods and I'll be placing these on top of the two trap doors here and here as well as the taller diorite walls. Once again if you don't have end rods you can replace these with chains but the end rods do add a wonderful glow to this build. Taking a step back now, here is how the build is looking. Next we need to prepare the platform for the next story. So I'm going to take some moss blocks and I'm going to come to one side of this wall where we've got five across and I'm going to build out an additional three. So when you look from above you can count four moss blocks. I'm then going to count two to either side and then add in one diagonally like this. And I'm going to do this off of each side. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Then we need to add in our diagonals. So we've already got this diagonal block placed in. We'll add it in here. In here. And we've already got one on this side. Then I'm going to fill in all of the gaps around this outer edge and we should be left with a kind of rounded off square in the center. So let's fill this in with the moss and take a look at what we've got. So here's how it should look from above. We've got this rounded off square where we have five then a corner and then five corner five corner and so on and it should be centered. Next step I'm coming inside the build and I'm going to be filling in this whole floor with some polished diorite. In survival you could swap out the polished diorite here for polished diorite slabs and that's going to save on resources. Now that the floor's all filled in I'm going to take some polished diorite stairs and I'll be placing one on each side of the five wide section here. Then I'm going to take some iron trapdoors and go around the edge of this gap. And I 
can fill in the gap between here with some polished diorite slabs. Almost all the way around. And there we go, it's going to look lovely from underneath and be a bit nicer than just having the plain moss. I'm also going to take some diorite walls now and one block below the roof I'm going to be placing one in underneath each of these stairs. That way I can add a little cluster of candles, I like to use three on each one and this is going to add a lovely ambiance to our build. Don't forget to light them with a flint and steel. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in this gap with some polished diorite. Now we'll need to break a hole into this later to add in our ladder, but for now I'm just going to fill in the whole thing. I'm also going to hang down some chains, one length in the center of each of the five wide sections and hang a lantern off of that so we've got our build nicely lit up and we shouldn't have any mobs spawning. If you're finding you need a little bit more light, a really great way to add that is to add a mossy carpet in the center with some frog lights underneath. For the next stage of this build, I've come back out to the top and we're going to work on the next story. So I've got some temporary blocks and at the back I'm going to mark in my first window one block off the ground and three blocks high. And I'll do this to either side as well. You can see I'm centering this on the diorite that we've got here along the wall. So we've got it in the center with two blocks to either side. Then at the front, so this is the same side we have the door on, on the base of the build, I'm adding in another door placeholder like this. Next we're going to be building up the walls to a total of 5 blocks high using our mixture of white materials like we had before. So that's 2 blocks, 3, 4, 5 and this will end up sitting 1 block on top of all of these windows. We're just following along the outline created by the diorite here. So we'll have five wide walls with the corner missing, five wide, corner missing, and so on. So let's go ahead and place all of these in. If you're creating today's build, be sure to join my Discord and share some pictures. I would love to see how it looks in your world. There's one wall and on to the next one. I've just got to fill in one more section of the wall here. So let's add in these blocks. I think I'll add in another wall here and a white concrete powder. Let's add another wall coming up this way and actually I'll finish off with two more white concrete powder. I think that looks good. Now I can go ahead and I'm going to remove these temporary blocks for the doorway I'm placing in a birch door so that it opens inwards like this and when it's closed it's flush with the wall. And I'm going to replace all of these blocks with some white stained glass panes for the windows. There we go. Next I'm going to place a verdant frog light on top of the walls in the center of each five wide section. Then I'll go in with some moss and we're going to create a square so we're going to build over the corners just connecting up between these frog lights. And I'll add one more layer of moss blocks on top of that. If we take a step back, we've got some basic walls in now. Next, I'm going to grab some moss blocks and I'm going to place these in three of the corners level with the rest of the moss. Then in the fourth corner that I've left free, I'm going to break the ground floor block below that. I'm going to add in some diorite stairs on either side of the gap like that. So we've got a little hole there and then I'll place them on either side of each of these mossy corners. I'm going to place in a few diorite slabs now. 
and another square worth leaving the center free. And in that center, I'm gonna place a polished diorite block. I can hang a chain and a lantern from that. And this hole is where we're going to be having our glow vine ladder later on. Let's move outside the build now and work on some decorations. So I'm gonna take some quartz pillars and we'll be building up on either end of each wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should bring us flush with the top of this section of the wall. There will also be a three block gap in between those two pillars. There we go. At the top of each pillar, I'm going to have an extra pillar facing outwards, followed by two regular quartz stairs. And these need to be placed in a curving shape like this. I'll also place a quartz stair at the bottom of the pillars, and we should have room for three diorite walls in between the stairs. So each one will end up looking like this. Let's go ahead and add these decorations to all of our pillars. Next we need to add some decorations to these corners. So I've got some smooth quartz stairs next and I'm gonna place two sets of two facing inwards like this. I'm also gonna place a diorite wall below this moss block as well as a quartz slab at the bottom. And I'm gonna do the same decoration on each of the corners of the build. Now that those corners are decorated, we need to add some archways in each of these panels. So we're going to start by placing a quartz slab at the top with a chiseled quartz block in between those two. Then I've got two smooth quartz stairs, one on either side, and then we've got three quartz slabs in a little archway just like that. And I'm doing the same decoration on each of the faces. I find it easier to do each step going around like this, but you might like to complete each archway as you go. As with anything in building, everyone has their own technique, so it's best to do what works best for you. Almost done with these archways. And there we go. Here's how they're going to look. Coming back around to the front, we need to add a decoration to this door. So I'm gonna add a diorite wall to either side, followed by some end rods. We've got a lime wall here, then we've got two quartz stairs, and I'm gonna replace my lime wall or whatever temporary block you've used with a quartz slab to create a nice archway like this. Coming back up to the top, I'm gonna to place in some iron trap doors next. So these are gonna go across the flat faces, and then we're going to have three coming diagonally along this way. So when we look from above, here's how our build should look. We're just about ready to start working on this domed roof, but before we do this, I'm gonna add in a few more quartz slabs. We're gonna be placing three across the base of these sections underneath the windows. Alrighty, now that we've got those in, let's start on this dome. We're using moss blocks for this, and I'm gonna be building seven across each face first, then five, and then three, and I'll do this all the way around. By breaking down the dome into simple shapes like this, it makes a tricky build much easier. There we are. Next, we need to fill in these corners. So we're going to be building up and doing a sort of zigzag W shape like this. And we'll do this off to both sides. You'll notice we'll be creating smaller and smaller circles as we go up. So now from above, our circle will look like this. For the next layer, we're going to place in some temporary blocks, one on each of these three wide sections and then one in each corner. 
In the corners, I'm just placing in some moss in a bent elbow shape like this. And then we'll place three across the flat faces. And then I can go ahead and remove any temporary blocks. For the layer after that, we just need to place one temporary block in because we're going to be joining around each corner like this. Just placing in a one wide circle. There we are, I'll remove this block and we should be left with a sort of diamond shape. I'm gonna add in one more temporary block which I can immediately remove and fill in this gap. We've got a beautiful dome shape out of moss. On top of here, I'm gonna add a moss block in the center with a chisel quartz block on top. Then I've got four quartz stairs surrounding this upside down, diorite walls on top of those, and then I've got four end rods. I'm also going to place an end rod in front of each stair. Next we need to add some decorations around the bottom of the dome. Starting in the center of each of the flat faces, I'm going to be adding in two stairs. Apologies for those ghost blocks, but you can see they should curve outwards like this. Then I'm going to place a diorite wall and an end rod on top of those. Next up we're going to be using quartz slabs and we're going to place them in a zigzaggy pattern all the way around. So we'll place one level with the bottom of this stair onto the moss block. Then we'll drop down a layer, then back up a layer and I'm going to place them diagonally across like this. Back down and up. Down and up. Down and up. And we're almost all the way around our circle now. Down and up. Then I'm going to take a few more slabs and I'm going to be placing these in the join between these two. So I'll need to add in a temporary block, place my slab in and it should sit on the lower layer, layer like that. And you can see that each of these lowered slabs will have two higher slabs to either side. I'm going to place a diorite wall on each of the lower slabs in this border. And then, like the walls up here, I'm going to add an end rod. Let's take a step back and have a look at that. The next detail I want to add to this beautiful build is some lanterns. I'm going to start by adding one underneath each of the slabs on this lower level. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on the upper level. So underneath these slabs, which will be above these windows. I'm going to be adding in a few more now, but I'm going to be hanging these from chains. So some of them I'll hang one chain length down and others I'll hang two chain lengths down. Then one, and I'm going to follow this pattern. So these are being placed onto the slab that is directly beside this wall here. So that'll be this slab on this side. We're up to two chain lengths down, then one again. And by alternating between two and one, we get the look of a randomized appearance from every angle. And onto the last side. And there we go. Next I'm going to come inside the build and I've got some glow berries here. Where we have our ladder I'm going to build up if I was in survival or fly up in creative and bring these glow berries all the way down. 
I then want to go ahead and bone wheel every single one of these so that they grow some glow berries to illuminate our space. Sneak up through here into the very top story. And I'm also going to hang a chain and a lantern in here. Now this should provide enough light, but if you do need more, you can place some in the little alcoves like this. So this build is looking pretty good, but we need to add some more details to really bring it to life. Wow, that is so much better. So let's take a step back and have a look what I've done. The build itself really is stunning. And to highlight all of that beauty, we've added lots of moss and leaves. And you can see that this gives this build an extra whimsical look. So first I started off by draping all of these azalea leaves down the roof. Now you can use other leaves here if you'd like, but the azalea leaves had this lovely lush bright green colour. I've also draped some of these off of the balcony level down to the lower storey. I've covered the entire roof with lots of greenery, so we've got grass and tall grass, ferns and shorter ferns as well, and then some of the small drip leaves. And this adds extra dimension to the roof and plays into that lush feel. I've also added glow berries hanging off of the roof and hanging off of this edge here. And not only does this light up the build so it looks absolutely beautiful at night, but the bright yellow color is a nice contrast from the neutral colors of the build. For the landscaping around it, I've stuck to a similar theme, so that way the build is the showcase. I've created these ruined pillars around the build, and this helps to frame it and bring some of the white from the structure into the garden. I've done this as well by placing in some flowers, and I've stuck to a white and green color palette here as well. Another thing you'll notice with the planting is that I've left and purposefully planted lots of short grass around the build. If we leave out all of this grass, it makes the build stand out a ton from its environment. And by adding this in, it kind of blends the build into the landscape and it all feels cohesive. Keeping with this natural theme around the build, I've used natural materials to create my path and I've added a couple lanterns alongside with these diorite walls tying in again with the build. I also like to use some of these azalea bushes with moss blocks on top to create different heights. Not only does this have a sculptural effect, but I think it kind of matches the ruined pillars that I've placed in as well as the pillars in the build. And having a look at this build at night, all of the lights we built in, including the end rods, the frog lights, the lanterns and the glow berries, really make this build look stunning. And through the forest, it just has such a magical feeling. So now you have an absolutely show-stopping, enchanted, mossy build in your world. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you consider liking and subscribing and check out my Patreon to support me further. I'll see you in another video.